think it takes an enormous amount of courage for a horse to have gone through what she's gone through and still be willing to give people a chance, another chance. things and she's alive today she knows what she's doing P pure and simple she's a survivor when her life or her well-being has been threatened in the past she has done things to help her survive and it has worked yeah Ren is kind of like the little engine that could we're, we're not sure exactly how old she is but our best guess is in the mid to late 20s we believe she's an American Shetland pony She's, you know, the smallest horse here. People often assume that Ren is going to be fearful and she's probably the bravest of the horses we have here. We know she's had a tough time and she's definitely experienced neglect. The folks who owned her before us actually rescued her from an auction. They take her home, she's skin and bones, covered in scars, and apparently Wren was impregnated during that period. Wren eventually gave birth to a full-sized bull. She's a little pony. She immediately had hip issues with the birth of a larger foal. When she came here, it was the first time she had been separated from her baby who by this point weighed about 800 pounds, was still nursing. And whenever they tried to separate the two of them, he would knock through fences to get to her. After Ren arrived, she was extremely distraught. She paced along the fence, neighing, and I'll tell you what, it was heartbreaking. Everything she was familiar with was gone. Survival is the strongest reinforcement for behavior that there is. I have to remember that's a strong reinforcer that I'm up against when I'm trying to get her to trust me. I need to be very patient and remember that what she's doing has worked in the past and it's not personal. Hi. And it's not a statement about my worthiness as a person I'm so proud of you. Nobody was getting another couple. would have been crazy for her to have given us her trust right away we had to understand and respect that it it took some time to figure out how we could earn her trust in particular there was not a clear straight path to the relationship we have now it was a very windy path it went up and down a lot and there were a lot of days where I was frustrated and felt like it was we were getting nowhere. We had to go from she will let me get 20 feet away from her to maybe today she lets me 18 feet away from her. <laughs> and or maybe today she doesn't look a different direction the whole time I'm near her. Whenever we work with Ren, we have to think about not what we can accomplish today, but what we can accomplish over the long run. How will what I'm doing today help our relationship over time? She's got a really calming presence these days, which is really, really different from how she was when she came. She's, she's become a really essential part of the herd. She's been through really, really hard things. Therefore, one thing I know for sure about her is that she can do hard things. I don't see her as weak or incapable because of what she's been through. I think people might call her kind of a shy, one of the shyer horses. Underneath that is a really tough uh, little horse who can handle really, really tough things. In many ways, she's our ambassador. 